So today we have a highly requested video for you guys. It is a home tour. So what better time than during the holidays? We moved in six years ago around the holiday season and immediately decked the halls. So this is our home in its most natural element. Decked to the nines with twinkling lights, ornaments galore. Let's give you guys a tour. Come on in. Coming in through the entry, this is a place you guys all know very well. This is where all of the magic happens, the kitchen. <laughs> so you can see we have a very open concept on this floor. It wasn't always that way. Dusty will talk a little bit more about that. But this was an island that came as part of a set along with our dining room table. And it had a wood top that looks just like this wood. But when we redid our countertops with this quartz, we ended up actually getting a matching top for the island just to kind of brighten it up and have a nice clean working space for all of our chopping and blending. So we absolutely love this island. If you've noticed everything that we've kind of tweaked or repurposed, so that's something we really have always enjoyed is DIY projects. We used to have a chalkboard wall in the basement and I'm super artsy and I like to do hand lettering. So Dusty said, bring it back. You need to get creative again. So we put up this roller and it's got craft paper and then I bought some uh, white chalkboard markers and I've been kind of writing out our schedules for the week. We just kind of started this for the holidays, so all kinds of fun stuff on there right now. No work-related things, it's just all holiday fun. So this refrigerator we actually bought a couple years after we moved in when we realized we didn't have enough refrigerator space and we had too much freezer space. So we love that this is all refrigerator right here. We got rid of our microwave about a couple years after we moved in. We had heard a lot of mixed reviews on whether they're safe or not, but honestly we just never used it and we really liked this look of having a range hood. Dusty found one that fit perfectly and then also installed this super cool pot filler. What do you guys think about microwaves? Safe, not safe? Either way, we don't use them. And over here, this is our blending station. You can see we've got way too many ripe bananas. Some of these need to be frozen or I need to make a massive smoothie. But we've got our favorite blender here. If you guys are interested, I don't wanna to get too long-winded, so if you want to have our favorite products video, like our favorite blenders, juicers, all kinds of different kitchen tools to help you be the best you can be on this plant-based lifestyle, let me know in the comments below. We would love to make that video for you guys. So we've always had our iPad handy in the kitchen so we can play music on Spotify or iTunes or whatever. And now that it's the holiday season, all we've been playing is Christmas music and that'll probably stay that way until mid-January, I would like to say. And I think we started as soon as Halloween ended. So we're definitely Christmas elves. Um, let me know what your favorite Christmas song is. I'm curious. Something that we are obsessed with because we always have music playing in our home is Whole House Audio. So this home was built in 1974 and the big thing way back in the day was an intercom system. So we converted the intercom system to Whole House Audio. Dusty installed speakers galore in every single room of the house, even our bathrooms. So we really love to always have some kind of music playing for whatever mood we're in. So this is what used to be the dining room when we first moved in, but we immediately converted it into our sitting room. And again, Dusty will talk more about the structural things that we've made changes to in our house. But something that has always been a favorite of ours is this coffee table, again, repurposed. We found it on Craigslist for maybe $15. And he took the varnish off and then we whitewashed it to match with our neutral theme going on. And more Christmas decorations. I love to be just put bowls full of sparkly, glittery, shiny stuff. And this table used to be packed full of stuff, but we recently cleared it off so that Max was able to play around without breaking and ruining our fancy things. So this I found on a website called Pinch Toys. These are super cute. Um, it's called a puzzle, but I just thought it was cute. It was like Max, me, and Dusty. So this is our main Christmas tree on our main level. It is an artificial tree that we found on Amazon and we love how tall and skinny it is. It's been so hard to find one that could fit on our main level. So 
We absolutely love this tree and just like the rest of our home we've gone with really neutral ornaments with soft gold colors and lots of platinums and silvers. And then right over here is our dining room. So we used to have a really cluttered dining room table but we kind of cleared it off. We're trying to go for a little bit more of a minimalist vibe. And I absolutely love these tiny little twinkling lights. So you will see these decked everywhere in our house. So the minute we moved in, I told Dusty, someday we're gonna have a dog that sleeps right under there. And that's exactly what Bo does. He likes to have his own little den and he's turned into kind of a watchdog. So whenever a FedEx or Amazon Prime man comes to the door, he gets a little crazy, which hasn't been the greatest when Maxie is napping. Speaking of naps, he just woke up, so he's gonna join us for the rest of the tour. Let's go upstairs. As you can see, we don't have a railing. We took it off when we stripped our carpet out of here, so we just have these bare wood steps that we kind of like. Sometimes people are like, so are you guys, are you working on these? And we're like, nope, that's just how they are. <laughs> but my parents have informed me that when Max is a toddler, which is right around the corner, we're gonna have to get a railing put back in. But for now, we kind of like the open feel. We have a couple canvases. We used to be really into painting, but I kind of like them plain. It leaves it open to the imagination, I guess you could say. But again, we just really like that minimalist vibe. The thing that initially drew us to this house was that there aren't a lot of stairs and it almost feels like just a single level home. So no more than five stairs up or down to the basement. And we, if you've noticed, we have tons of mirrors in our house just because we like to reflect as much natural daylight as we can into our home because honestly, it doesn't have quite as many windows, especially on the south facing side as we would like it to have. So mirrors kind of do the trick for us. Who has ever seen a corner toilet before? Not us, <laughs> but we have one. This thing is a gem. This is something that's been a favorite of mine since I was a little girl, so we put it up in here. Max really loves it. It's just a cute little village piece, and then we keep it simple with some more little twinkling lights. Next stop down the hallway is Maxie's little room, and we're really happy with how it turned out. I wasn't entirely sure around this time last year if we were gonna have it completed, but I went into like hyper nesting mode like within the last couple of weeks before I delivered this little man and we got it put together and we actually just took the crib rail off. So side note, Max has never slept, not napped, not anything in his crib, but he does like to play in it. So Dusty took the rail off. We found this super plush rug at Target. We love it because it's just so comfortable to lay on and lounge around with Max. And this is a bench that Dusty made from repurposed wood and whitewashed it and we call it his shelfie. So this is where we put things that he's allowed to make a mess of, unlike some other shelves in the house. It's nice to give your baby the option to have a space of their own where they have free range without having to tell them no or replace certain items with other items. We found this super cute print on minted.com and the whole theme is creatures of curiosity. So things like sloths and llamas, um, the giraffe over here on the wall, I love. It came all the way from Australia. We found this cute mobile on Etsy and the crib is Baby Leto. Absolutely love it, how neutral and pretty the wood is. I decided to opt out of the rocking chair, just wasn't a big fan of the way most of them looked but we are so, so happy with this swinging chair. It is just so dreamy. Max loves to feed in it, and I love to just chill in there and get quiet with him sometimes. Next stop is the master bed. So we recently got rid of our bed frame and Dusty built us a really minimal bed frame, which I'm in love with, and another one of his repurposed benches sits in here. It's where we put our shoes and socks on. And then again, blank canvases. I don't know what it is. It just adds a little bit without adding too much. So we kept it pretty simple in here. We got these on Pier 1 and absolutely love them, especially now with Max. We can't have very much on our nightstands, like a lamp or anything breakable. So those have been a lifesaver. Last and final stop at the end of the hallway is my office space. This also serves as closet overflow. I really wish we had walk-in closets, but we don't. That's entirely okay because that just means we don't collect as much junk. This desk that Dusty made me, I work up here sometimes in the afternoons because it gets a lot of great west sun at the end of the day. 
especially in the winter time I try to work up here in the afternoons. I've got this beautiful nativity set that my grandma gave us. I really really love that one. And again, the twinkling lights, can't go wrong. And I found this rug at Urban Outfitters. It is washable. It's covered in dog hair, so it's probably due for a cleaning of some sort. All right, now we'll head down to the basement. This is where we love to chill, watch movies, and you'll see our live Christmas tree. As you can see, we have tons of room for activities down here. I have a workout gym mat underneath this rug. I actually roll the rug back and sometimes I'll do workout videos in here, especially in the winter. This is our live Fraser fur. We love the Fraser fur because the um, ornaments really hang well on these trees because the branches aren't super flimsy and it is one of the most fragrant varieties. It smells so good. We love it. So this came from a website called The Birth Poster. It's a one-to-one -one scale of Max's size on the day he was born, so that's a pretty special thing. So this is where we love to cozy up and watch all of our Christmas movies and Max loves playing down here. This has been where we've kind of helped him learn how to walk. He took his first steps the past week. Over here, this used to be an office space when we moved in, but that just didn't suit our needs. So this has become Max's little play space and he just loves it in there. Like Aaron said, when we bought this place, it was a tiny kitchen, a tiny dining room, and a tiny little living room that we ended up changing completely. So first thing we did was knock the walls out, put the doors in there, and put a nice patio outside. Put a new door in here, again, to let in as much light as possible. New floors throughout, so this was like some old kind of laminate flooring that we tore out again and put some tile in. And we've saved a lot of money because I've been able to do most of it myself. So it's been a lot of fun and we've been able to make it our home. So one thing I am a fanatic about is lighting. So cool light fixtures and like good ambient overhead lighting with dimmers. So if you guys have seen some of our other lifestyle videos, when the sun sets, our lights go way down. So we like to dim the house down. Not only are we saving electricity, but we have a really cool vibe in the house. And it just is good. It's natural, right, to, to dim the lights down when it's getting close to bedtime. And again, I just love the look that it gives everything. Kind of an art gallery style lighting um, throughout the house that I put in and some really cool light fixtures. We've done a bunch of cool little like personalized DIY touches like this railing. We actually made out of bungee cord. Again, probably not super baby safe, but we may be changing that soon. We like it for now. Also, we've done a bunch of tile work. I did some cool tile on these stairs, retiled the bathroom downstairs, redid some showers. Pretty much like everything has been done at this point. So paint throughout, inside and out. And yeah, we love it, it's our home, but we're actually thinking about selling it, as you guys know. So anyway, we're not sure if that's something we wanna do. I love the projects, I love the home, but we may be ready for something new, we'll see. And last but not least, our garage gym. So we converted this into kind of our home gym right when we moved in. That was probably one of my first projects. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, uh, an updated garage gym video, let us know in the comments below. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.